Now it's time for some SMOT. CMOTs. Condition Motivating Operations. Transitive. Transitive Condition Motivating Operations. I'm just going to say a whole bunch of different ways so you understand what the fact that there's... I don't... Yeah, never mind. Um, I was going to say that I don't know what the word is, or the definition, but that's not quite true. Um, it's when one stimulus affects the value of another stimulus. Ah, again, right? Um, so we're going to do... We're going to establish a condition reinforcer. I don't care what that is. Uh, the example that I've read has been like a buzzer, right? So, um, so <clears throat> you could pair that with food and it can become a reinforcer, right? So when you're talking about CMOT, what I'm going to do is pair a um, stimulus with the motivating operation such as food deprivation, but that will also increase the value of any other thing that has been paired with that particular reinforcer that's associated with the motivating operation. Ah, right, e God, it's heavy. Um, so I pair a stimulus, whatever it is, I pair that stimulus with um, uh, the, the food deprivation, and then I can actually make the value of the uh, working for the buzzer more reinforcing. And I can make food more reinforcing. Weird, huh? Kind of cool. Smots. Smots, smosses, and s'mores. It's just fun to say. See ya.